All right, Mallory. So if you could share a little bit about your history with stuttering and what led you to the decision to start therapy, that'd be great. Okay. Well, I started stuttering when I was a child. I, as a child, I didn't know that I was a stutterer until my father took me to Queens College to the phonology department to get some tests done. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew that I was a stutterer. At the age of 10, I, was, um, I went to South America to learn Spanish, and I lived there for two years. When I came back, I started stuttering a lot more than before. Mm -hmm. So it got worse with time, and it was something that I just lived with my whole life. In English, I was a covert stutterer. I would hide it very well. Uh, I still do. I use avoidance words. Um, I'm always controlling my speech and in Spanish it's much worse. I can't control my speech. If I stutter, I stutter and there's no avoidance words. Mm. The act of controlling is not even an option in Spanish. And when you say controlling, you're essentially talking about avoidance behaviors. Avoidance yeah. behaviors, okay. correct. So I decided to enroll in this intensive stuttering, um, the stuttering intensive program with AIS because I, as an adult, I said I have to fix this problem that I have. Um, mm. The anxiety that one feels when they stutter, the nerves, um, the fear, mostly, is something that I didn't want to live with for the rest of my life. Mm. And I said, what a better time than now. It, it, it was just the right time to do it. So you're a college student right now. Can you Post share a little bit about your um, where you're at in, in the college experience and what you're hoping to, or where you're hoping to go? Okay, I'm a post bac student at SUNY Farmingdale. I'm a bioscience major, and I'm hoping to. Uh, well, I am going to become a doctor. I'm applying to med school in uh, for 2016 cycle, so, wow. and I'm almost done with my BS. I have a BA from SUNY Purchase, mm -hmm. and I went back for a second bachelor's, but in science this time. Gotcha. So. And also, um, in college, in my undergrad at SUNY Purchase, I had to do a lot of um, presentations. And whenever I had to do that, it was uncontrollable stuttering. Mm -hmm. And I remember I took a course in evolution, and I had to do, I don't know if it was two hours or three hours. It was so long. And I said, how the hell am I going to do this uh, lecture and not stutter? And I remember when I was doing it, my friend um, passed me a note when I was giving the presentation and said, you're stuttering, slow down. And then I had another presentation in my Spanish lit course that I had to do in Spanish. And the professor, it was so bad that she stopped me and she took over my presentation and she finished um, my, my, my presentation. It was so humiliating. Um, so in my post back career, I'm an adult uh, and I have a completely different outlook on life. And I said, okay, this has to be done. Let's, let's target the problem and fix it. So that's what, that, that's what got me here. And what were some of the goals that you had in mind that you hoped to achieve during the intensive? The goals that I had in mind uh, prior, to, prior to coming here, my goals were to learn techniques to stop stuttering. Mm. How can I stop this? I want to get this problem and get it out of my life. I never want to stutter again. Um, so that's what I came in thinking that we were going to do. Mm. Alright. Well, well, we'll make another video talking about okay. what you actually achieved. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Thank you.